Distant Shores, the newest Crucible map in Destiny 2. Bungie Activision Destiny 2's Windows PC version is almost upon us, and developer Bungie announced today that it has finalized the game's hardware specifications on computers. The final system requirements are identical to the specs Bungie gave in late July, a month before the Destiny 2 beta when live on PC. Here's the kind of gaming rig you'll need to play the PC version of the game, which requires a 64-bit version of Windows 7, 8.1 or 10 and 68 GB of free hard drive space recommended spec CPU Intel 3.4 GHz Core i5-2400 or 3.5 GHz Core i5-7400 AMD 3.6 GHz Ryzen R5-1600 X GPU NVIDIA 4 GB GeForce GTX 970 or 6 GB GeForce GTX 10608 AMD 8GB Radeon R9-390 RAM 8GB Minimum Spec CPU Intel 3.5GHz Core i3-3250 or 3.5GHz Pentium G4-560 AMD 4.2GHz FX4-350 GPU NVIDIA 2GB GeForce GTX 660 or 2GB GTX 1050 AMD 2GB Radeon HD 7850 RAM 6GB The PC version of Destiny 2 will offer many advanced visual features, including support for 4K resolution, frame rates up to 144 Hz and 219 ultra-wide monitors. It will be released Tuesday, October 24, just under seven weeks after the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions debuted on September 6. Players will be required to play the game through blizzardsbattle.net, where it will go live simultaneously around the world at 10 a.m. PT, you can see what time that translates to in your time zone here. A 4K screenshot of Crucible action in Destiny 2. Bungie Activision Between now and then, Bungie will launch the prestige version of Destiny 2's Leviathan Raid. It was supposed to go live this week, but the studio postponed it to October 18 after discovering an exploit. Bungie intended to fix the issue before the new date, but said today that it won't be able to do so because the short-term solution contains too much risk. That doesn't mean the team is delaying the prestige raid again. Instead, it will still go live at 10 a.m. PT next Tuesday, with a way to verify a clean finish. In other words, Bungie will be able to guarantee that the first fire team to complete the prestige raid DIDNT cheat. A safe fix is still being investigated for this issue, said Bungie. Our current plan is to deploy it as part of a future update. The studio added that it has come up with raid challenges, which it introduced to the original Destiny a few months after the release of The Taken King. We are listening, but need time to digest everything finally, Bungie said today that it is aware of, and collecting, all the feedback that Destiny 2 players have been offering so far in the five weeks since the game's launch. Community manager Chris Cosmo Shannon acknowledged fan suggestions such as ways to make the Crucible more fun and add a method to mass delete shaders, as well as the most common topic of discussion among the player base how Bungie can improve Destiny 2's endgame. We are listening, but need time to digest everything and draw up the best plans for the future, said Shannon. We will have more to say on this soon. Please stay tuned, and keep the conversation rolling. Much of the chatter around Destiny 2 at the moment is negative. Some players aren't thrilled with what they perceive to be a thin albeit less grindy endgame, and the game's first Iron Banner event this week has gotten a tepid response. Because of the changes Bungie has made to it since Destiny. It sounds like the studio is trying to assuage concerned fans by acknowledging the community unrest, but we'll have to wait to hear about the developers' actual solutions.